Have you ever had something stolen from you? Money, property, possessions? I've actually had many things stolen from me. When I was about 10 years old, I rode my bike to T-Ball and when the game was over, my bike was gone. When I was in high school, someone stole my hat and I knew who stole my hat because they wore it to school the next day. When I was an adult, my car stereo was stolen from me twice. One time, they only took the faceplate and the other time they took the whole stereo. Now let me ask you a question. Does a thief let you know the time of his coming? Does he call you up and say, I'm going to rob your house at 6 p.m. this evening. Can you make sure that nobody is home? A thief catches you by surprise, without warning, when you're not watching and when you least expect it. That's why the Bible says in 2 Peter 3 and verse 10 that the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise and the elements will melt with fervent heat. In Revelation chapter 3 and verse 3, Jesus says to Sardis, Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief and you will not know what hour I will come upon you. Jesus' return will be a surprise, but it won't be a secret, and it won't be silent, for he's coming with a great noise. You see, when the Bible speaks about Jesus coming as a thief, it is referring not to how he comes, but to when he comes. Jesus is saying, get ready, get prepared, be on guard because I'm coming unexpectedly. If we end up like Sardis, we will sleep through the second coming. But if we get ready and stay ready, we won't miss a thing. The thief will come and he won't catch us by surprise. We will be ready for our Lord.